Lightning Bolt is an example of what essentially perfect magic card design is. Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. We are here today to talk about Lightning Bolt, specifically because there is a brand new secret layer introducing four new pieces of artwork for Lightning Bolt. Now this may sound crazy, but Lightning Bolt has been around since the beginning of the game. It's been printed well over a dozen different times, and yet there are actually only two pieces of artwork for Lightning Bolt. Now the first one is the originator, right? This is the Lightning Bolt that we saw back in the days of Alpha. You've got your dark, ominous storm clouds, and you've got your lightning bolts coming out of it. So the artwork is serviceable, it's nostalgic as well, because I mean, I played back in those days, and there's just something about Bolt. It was everywhere. It's obviously, it's a really, really solid card. One red to do three damage to any target at instant speed with no restrictions is pretty sweet, and you'll notice that Wizards tends to shy away from making a card on this power level for standard. This level of burn, you have to kind of get the spectacle going on, like that kind of a reduced cost scenario if you want to get three damage for one mana, and even then, you're dealing with like sorcery speed stuff. So, Lightning Bolt is a very powerful card, and a very straightforward one. I've always enjoyed how simple it is as a concept, but how perfect it is. It's one red mana, it's funneling into lightning magic, bam, there you go, lightning bolt. There, it's, it's just, it transmits the perfect concept across to you with ease. There's no confusion when you look at the card, you just go, oh, I'm generating a lightning bolt, and I'm flinging it over there. And that feels powerful. That feels like a Greek god from Mount Olympus. I'm up here, I'm Zeus, taste my lightning. It's, just, it's, it's a satisfying feeling. And Bolt was very, very prevalent, obviously, in the days of its easy availability in Standard and before Standard was an actual environment. But um, the, the thing about Bolt is it'll give you a psychological condition. I, I knew a guy, actually we talked about this in the bird video where I talked about birds of paradise and how you always bolt the birds. There was this one dude I played magic with who sometimes comes by the channel, so if you're watching, hello Ben! This guy, I used to mess with his birds of paradise first turn no matter what. Plow it, bounce it, bolt it, whatever it is. And he would just, ah, he would lose his mind. Sometimes he would just quit the game outright. Just amazing, amazing. So. Bolt was everywhere. You got a Hypnotic Spectre, bolt it. You got a White Knight, bolt it. Everything getting bolted left, right, and center. And I mean, bolts can even hit Planeswalkers as well. So this was the original concept. Very visceral gut feeling of goodness. This makes me feel like a powerful mage. I can harness the very forces of lightning. Very cool. And the second artwork we got is also pretty impressive. I mean, you can see there is a mage standing down on the cliff top with lightning energy flying all over the place, and it's got a red, powerful, angry energy to it, right? The other lightning bolt had more of a clue, like, I don't know, there's just the blueness kind of has a more cool feel to it, probably because of the storm clouds as well, where this lightning has a red hot heat to it. I'm gonna ignore the flavor text because in all honesty, I don't think lightning bolt needs flavor text. There's some cards that seem like they're better served without flavor text, and almost every printing of Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt, including printings with this second art, are printed without flavor text, because you don't need it. You know what's going on when it comes to Lightning Bolts. So with this new secret layer, we go from having two Lightning Bolt artworks to six Lightning Bolt artworks, and these are full art style lightning bolts. So, in no particular order, let's take a look at them. The first one we're looking at here shows a, what's being bolted? A tiny, tiny little guy. Or I guess actually a normal sized human who's riding a horse. So if you look at that, that's actually a, what looks like the peak of a high mountain. And there is a lightning bolt arcing out of this crazy, almost abyssal looking portal. It looks like a giant eye. You could look at this as a black void that's opening outwards with this kind of like angry flaming area around it as well. Or you could view it 
as looking like a giant eye. So imagine that, a void opens up in the sky and it looks like a giant eye. And out of that giant eye arcs this gigantic zagging bolt of electricity that just slams into whatever target. Like, boom, you're just, oh, here you go, get into, this has got an Independence Day vibe to it too. I recently watched that movie. The whole sky opens up and you get destroyed. Now, what I want to note is it appears to me that we're doing a color cycle sequence where each lightning bolt is actually showed destroying a creature from like particular colors, right? So this right here translates to me as a white knight creature being lightning bolted. That's how it's going to go. Pay attention to these and let me know in the comments if you think that I am getting the colors mixed up because I think I have it parsed out. It's easier with some of the cards than the other one, but I really like the contrast between the eye in the sky and the sky itself. That orange into the blue, it, just, it looks fantastic. I definitely enjoy this artwork quite a bit. I'm a huge fan of Magic the Gathering artwork. Let us move on to the second lightning bolt, the most tragic lightning bolt. Why is this lightning bolt tragic? Because it's messing with green. And we all know you leave green alone. Like, you know, that's me, man. You know that leave Britney alone guy who's under the blankets crying about leave Britney, Britney alone? Leave Britney alone. That's me. I'm climbing under my blanket. Leave mono green alone. This is, this is the anti-green bolt and I don't like it. So you can see in this one, you've got the red energy kind of coming down almost like a little claw. It's got like a kind of a hand vibe to it, right? And this is happening at night. You can see the stars set in the sky there. And this, this friendly little grizzly bear who's just, he's just out for a walk. He's just grizzling his way around, you know, it's like maybe he's a rune claw bear, but either way, he's just, he's just wandering around doing his own bear thing, just being a happy mono green creature. He doesn't need this in his life. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, for no good reason, some worthless, awful red mage has electrified my boy. No, I can't bear it. <laughs> so yeah, this is the, um, this is the, anti-green bolt. As you can see, a grizzly bear is getting smoked by this one, just like the night creature, the white knights, those are 2-2, two -two. grizzly bears are 2-2, two -two. so a bolt is more than enough to take care of this one. It's, uh, it's a tragic tale, but honestly, the lightning does look very interesting, set against this blackish backdrop with the green, the greenish landscape, and then the fact that the bottom of the grizzly bear feels all green, but the top of the grizzly bear is actually turning, looking like it's turning red because it's being lit up by the lightning. And think about how powerful that lightning is that only one of these, one of these arcs is enough to get this bear yelling out in, in pain and distress. I'm sorry, grizzly, I'm sorry I couldn't save you. I'm getting traumatized from my old years of magic. So the next bolt we're gonna look at, I believe that this is the anti-blue bolt, all right? So it's, it, with this artwork, there's a lot of orange to it, in all honesty. It's, I, I don't know, man. I feel like, I, I feel like I would have enjoyed this one a little bit more if it had more range in the color palette that's being used, but that's just, that's just me. It's not like this isn't fantastic artwork. You can see orangish sort of, orangish hued lightning arcing out in crazy patterns off of these clouds that have just rolled up and they're blasting directly into this drake that's flying along. The drake has a weird long tail. Like he looks like he has a double tail. So that's what is going, what is going on with this tail? Right? I mean, it looks like, does he have, well, I, I, anyways, I'm getting toying up on the tail, but yeah, I mean, there's nothing else in this to indicate, to indicate blue, but blue has flyers, blue has drakes. And I mean, with the fact that the, you see the white knight, you see the, the green grizzly bear, and then you've got this. And when we look at the next card, you'll see that that's clearly a black creature as well. So I think it's very logical to assume that this is a blue creature, as it would make no sense for this to be a red creature. It breaks the overall thematic concept. And honestly, I really, really love the idea of lightning bolts that are specifically keyed to destroying each color. That's a good feel. This is a cool choice. This artwork, is the least exciting to me of the lightning bolts, but it's still very well done. Like if you put this on a lightning bolt card, I wouldn't turn around and say, this isn't good artwork. 
I just feel like there's just too much orange and red to it for me. I don't know. It's 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 very competent, but it doesn't turn my crank. Now the final lightning bolt we're gonna look at, the black, the black anti-black lightning bolt is pretty amazing. So you can see that there's like this crazy death cloud. There's a big old skull forming in the smoke or ashes or vapor or whatever. And then there's this big lightning burst coming down with kind of black waves radiating off it. And you can see that there's a demon with like little horns coming up off of him. And he's fallen to his knees. He might be like a little necromancer or something. He could be a demon. He could be a necromancer. Whatever it is, you can definitely feel the black vibes of this of this creature, right? Now, is that lightning bolt actually coming from that cloud? Or was that like necromancer getting ready to do some crazy ritual? And at the last minute, you're like, and in response, bolt. You know, like, is that what's going on here? This artwork is intense. I gotta say, out of all the lightning bolts in this set, this is the one I would choose to put into my cube. I would love to have this bolt in my cube. That's a very personal choice though, you know what I mean? Everybody likes different things when it comes to art, and that's part of what I love about Secret Layer, is it's just crazy artwork. I enjoy these style of reprints, man. Let me know in the comments below what you think of my whole theory about it being spread across the four colors and did I nail it? Overall, also, what you think about these lightning bolts in general. I put out a video earlier today talking about another secret layer, so you want to check that out. That's good times. Liking and commenting and all that stuff helps the channel out. And if you really want to help the channel out, the channel is community funded. So go ahead and join up on my Patreon, as that makes things far better for me and makes what I do here easier and sustainable. So thanks for coming by, everybody. I'll see you all very soon.